Namaste everyone, I am Sapna Rana Rawat and in this video we will be practicing Nadi Chodhan Pranayam together. For Nadi Chodhan Pranayam or for any Pranayam practice, always keep your back straight. Sit in any comfortable meditative posture. If you cannot sit in the cross leg position on the floor, you can also sit on the chair keeping your back straight. Before we begin with the actual practice, let's start with three rounds of Om chanting to bring ourselves in the present moment. Now let's begin the actual practice. Keep your left palm in Jnana Mudra on your left knee. With the right hand, make Vishnu Mudra folding your middle finger and index finger. The right thumb will be used to block the right nostril. Ring finger to block the left nostril. Using the right hand, block the right nostril using the thumb. Now inhale through the left nostril slow, deep and silent. Now block the left nostril using the ring finger and exhale through the right nostril slow, deep and silent. Now inhale through the right nostril and then block the right nostril, exhale through the left. This is one chakra of Nani Shodhan Pranayam, one cycle of Nani Shodhan Pranayam. Continue this for 6 to 8 cycles depending on your comfort zone. Throughout the practice, keep your facial muscles absolutely relaxed. Remember to maintain the flow smooth, deep and silent. There should be no sound of the breath. Once you are able to do this, switch to the next step where you will try to make the duration of inhalation and exhalation equal. Now how to do that? You will do that by mentally counting equal count of inhalation 
equal count on exhalation. Start with five counts. Let me show you how to do that. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release and relax. Once you get comfortable with this flow also, then take it to the next stage and try to make duration of inhalation to exhalation 1 is to 2 ratio, which means 5 counts inhalation, 10 counts exhalation. Now let me show you how to do that. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release and relax. That was Nari Shudan Pranayam. Whichever stage you are in, just enjoy the practice, enjoy the flow. Do not rush. Do not hurry. Now together we will look at the benefits of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Now before getting into the benefits of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam, let's first understand the meaning of Nadi Shodhan. Nadi Shodhan Pranayam comes from two words, Nadi and Shodhan, where Nadi means energy channels, the subtle energy channels, and Shodhan means to cleanse or to purify. Hence, Nadi Shodhan means a practice to cleanse or purify the subtle energy channels. Nadi Shodhan Pranayam is an important pranayam to be practiced in order to master the advanced pranayam. Swami Satyananda Ji has said once, if one wants to lead a spiritual life, this pranayam is sufficient. It will steady the way to meditation and samadhi. Now let's talk about the overall benefits of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. As said earlier, this pranayam technique cleans the subtle energy channel in the pranic body. This is an excellent breathing technique to calm and center the mind. Our mind has a tendency to keep regretting or glorifying the past and getting anxious about the future. Nani Shodhan Pranayam helps to bring the mind back to the present moment. It works therapeutically for most circulatory and respiratory problems. Nadi Shodhan Pranayam releases the accumulated stress in the mind and the body, effectively helps to relax the body and mind. 
It helps to harmonize the left and the right hemisphere of the brain, which correlates to the logical and emotional sides of our personality. Nadi Shudhan Pranayam, Pranayam helps purify and balance nadis, as said earlier, the subtle energy channels, thereby ensuring a smooth flow of prana throughout the body. That's about the benefits of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. Now let's look at the caution that you need, must need to bear in mind while practicing Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. Now let's talk about the cautions to be taken during the practice. Keep your spine straight throughout the practice. Facial muscles should be absolutely relaxed. Maintain the smooth, deep and silent flow of breath. There should be no sound of breath. Do not force any breath during the practice. When you breathe in and breathe out, the effort has to be minimum. While blocking the nostril, do not apply too much of pressure on the nostril. The idea is to gently block the nostril so that the inflow and outflow of breath is blocked. All in all, just avoid practicing this way. In this video, we have covered what is Nari Shudhan Pranaya, popularly known as Anulom Vilom, how to do the practice, what are the benefits of it, and the caution one needs to take care while doing the practice. Thank you so much for your time and see you all in the next video. Namaste.